Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're going to talk about the pancreas. So pancreas is actually an abdominal glandular organ with both the digestive, which is exocrine, and hormonal, which is endocrine functions. So in this section, we will only talk about the uh, pancreas itself. So remember, the pancreas, I'll be using this diagram to explain, uh, to just because it's a written form, so I'll explain the pancreas on it. All right, so the pancreas is actually an oblong shaped organ, which is actually positioned at the level of transpyloric plane. Remember, the, the pancreas is actually a retroperitoneal organ, except the tail of it is not retroperitoneal, it's intraperitoneal. And located deep within the upper abdomen, in the epigastrium and life and the hypochondric region now we'll be talking about something else we know that the pancreas is actually divided into different regions this is the head of the pancreas which is located near the duodenum because the duodenum kind of covers over the head of the pancreas then we get the body and finally the tail because this is divided into three main parts if you if you go for the anatomical structure in more detail you will find out that we'll be talking about the head the uh, the un, uh, unicate process the neck the body and the tail we'll be talking about it in just a minute but first let us discuss the relations of the pancreas with different regions so remember anterior if you're talking about the anterior remember the anterior to pancreas we have a stomach because the stomach is kind of covering out it on on this side like this one and we have the transverse mesocolon because the transverse colon kind of turns over here because we have the uh, we have the ascending colon here and it, it takes a turn and uh, moves over the du first part of uh, over the duodenum as well and kind of uh, also over the pancreas so that's why we say anterior to the pancreas we have the transverse colon and the stomach posterior to it we know main structures pass there is arota and the inferior vena cava and again another structure which is called superior mesenteric artery is also going behind it when the superior mesenteric artery goes behind it and attaches to the itself <clears throat> And uh, if we were talking about the lateral on right side, what I mean by the lateral on right side is this part. We're going to talk about that. We know on the lateral and right side, we have the second part of the duodenum. But if we're going to talk about the lateral on the left side, it, you can see it's a hilum of spleen. This is a spleen. The, the, it's a, the, we got the hilum. And here is the tail of the pancreas. So lateral on the left side, you have the uh, hilum of the spleen. In relation to the pancreas if we talk about the uh, superior to it we know the superiorly we have got main art main artery there is the splenic artery which supplies your spleen uh, which gives five branches and supply your spleen and this spleenic artery coming from the celiac trunk and which celiac trunk has three main branches we have talked about it and that celiac trunk drains uh, it, it takes blood from the abdominal aorta now let's talk about the anatomical structures of the pancreas so remember <clears throat> When we talk about the anatomical structure of the pancreas, we actually divide the pancreas into head, unicate, your head, unicate process, the neck, the body, and the tail. Remember, this part we call in blue over here, we call this part only, it's the head. And down there, I haven't clearly shown it like clearly, like down here, the structure, this part, which kind of hangs a little bit downward, this call is called the unicate process. And above unicate process and over here, it's this part is over neck. If I write it down, it's neck. This is unicate process. This is over head. And again, this part between over here, this is over body. And in the end, we got the tail. So very easy. This is tail. This is body. This is neck. This is unicate process. And this is the head of the pancreas. But if you're going to define this structure, we would be saying that the head of the pancreas is actually the widest part of the pancreas because it lies within the C shape. Like if you if you're gonna continue the duodenum like this one, you will find out that this the head actually lies within the C shaped curve created by the duodenum and is connected by its connective tissue. When we talk about the unicate process, so unicate process is nothing is just a projection arising from the lower part of the head of your Pancreas, right. So, and head of the pancreas and extending medially to lie beneath the body of the pancreas. This is the body of the pancreas and goes downward and kind of come over here. Like, I haven't extended that much, but it will come 
over here like this one and extend towards and come come beneath the head of the between the, beneath the body of the pancreas and again this unicate process actually lies posterior to the superior mesenteric vessels now let's go and talk about the neck so if you want to talk about the neck or this part remember the neck is located between the head and the body the head and the body of the pancreas it overlies the superior mesenteric vessels which form a groove in its posterior aspect we're going to talk about the body so body is actually centrally located you know crossing the midline of the human body to lie behind the stomach it lies behind the stomach and to the left of the superior mesenteric vessels there we got the superior mesenteric vessels crossing it and now lastly we have got the tail so tail is actually on the left and it's on the left end of the pancreas which that lies within close proximity to the hilum of the spleen so it is actually contained within the splenorenal ligament with the splenic vessels this is this is the only part of the pancreas that is intraperitoneal remember the tail is the only part of the pancreas that is intraperitoneal now we are done with the relations and anatomical structure let us talk about the artery so the pancreas is actually supplied the pancreas is actually supplied by the pancreatic branches Pan pancreatic branches these are branches coming from the splenic artery remember this one the pancreas is supplied by the branches coming from the splenic artery the head this part the head is additionally you know additionally supplied by the superior and inferior pancreatoduodenal artery which are coming from celiac trunk and superior mesenteric arteries respectively right so head is supplied by uh, some extra arteries and but majorly the main artery that supplies the pancreas you, it, it is the pancreatic branches of the spleen artery you can see the splenic artery coming and supplying the spleen but they, it is also giving few branches out here which supply your pancreas now let's talk about the venous drainage so head is actually if you want to talk about the uh, i'm sorry if you're going to talk about the uh, venous drainage of the head remember this one the venous drainage of the head of the pancreas is into the superior mesenteric branches of your hepatic portal vein the pancreatic veins draining the rest of the pancreas do so via the splenic vein so this other head will be drained into the superior mesenteric vein but rest of your rest of your pancreas will drain into the, your splenic vein and when you want to talk about the lymphatics very easy we're not going to talk about in detail about the lymphatics we'll be making another video so if somebody is asking you precisely uh, where does that uh, the lymph uh, lymphatics of or the lymph of the pancreas drain into you'll be saying into the pancreatico splenal nodes that's it regarding the anatomy of the pancreas please make sure to watch our other videos and visit our website that is www.tigeschooling.com and keep visiting tiger schooling thank you